It is with great honor that I accept the Milner S. Ball Lifetime Achievement Award for my work in public service. I've been involved in public service for about 30 years now, uh, several years before I founded the Rutherford Institute. Uh, as a young lawyer, I found that there were a lot of folks out there that needed help that could not afford a lawyer because lawyers can be very expensive. So I wanted to found an organization that would go out and defend people free of charge when they found themselves afflicted by governmental entities and governmental agents. So that was the founding basis of the Rutherford Institute. Over the years, we've defended thousands upon thousands of people, people who find that they can't pick it in front of a governmental office, they get arrested, which they have a free speech right to be there. Prisoners who can't get information in prison or who are abused in prison. We've defended a lot of prisoners. Uh, public school students who are thrown out for such crazy things as taking Alka-Seltzer in violation of zero tolerance drug policies. We, we do the whole panoply of cases. We defended every religion, atheist, you name the people, we have defended them. Over the years, 28 years, thousands upon thousands of people. During that time, I've come to find out that really, uh, if you want to find fulfillment, I'm basically talking to a lot of the young folks in the audience. If you want to find fulfillment in life, it's in helping other folks. I believe in the golden rule, which is that uh, we should treat people like we want to be treated. And we want our rights, we want to be treated fairly, and we want to be treated with justice. So that's, I think, our purpose in life. We're there to help other people. I don't think that people are here as some random speck in the universe. I think we do have purpose, and that purpose is in looking at one another and making sure that what I call the little person out there, the person that can't defend themselves, can actually get their day in court, uh, can get a lawyer, and again, that's what we do at the Rutherford Institute. Uh, I don't think we're here to uh, amass materialism. I don't think we're here to buy big cars or to just represent corporate clients. And I would admonish people who get into law firms, young lawyers, do pro bono work. And that will, you will find that some of that pro bono work, if you take it seriously, will be the most fulfilling thing you'll ever do in your life. So my challenge is, uh, if you want to get involved in the kind of work I do, you can do it in a, in a private law firm. You can start an organization like I've started. You can work for many of the public service groups that are out there across the country. But above all, spend your life, focus your life on helping others. Thank you very much.